It's a New York City comeback story that would have been unimaginable some three decades ago. One of the Central Park Five is running for city council. Yusuf Salam is one of the exonerated five, as they're now known. Teenagers wrongly convicted of raping a woman in Central Park in 1989. The convictions were overturned in 2002, and this past December, they saw their story etched in stone on a gate to the park. Salam, who spent seven years behind bars, is running for city council, District 9, representing the heart of Harlem, where he grew up and where we met to talk about his past and his future. At one point, the world thought you and the other four were literally trash. Yes. That's how people saw you. Yes. They wanted to not only put me to death, but there's hate mail that I've received that they wanted to even put my mother to death as well for so, even creating, in their words, such an animal. Your names are basically etched in stone here. The Exonerated Five, yes. Central Park. Yes. What a journey. Oh my goodness. Beyond amazing. Almost unreal. We were the pariahs. We were considered the scum of the earth. They wanted to do to us what they had done to Emmett Till because they really judged us by the color of our skin and not the content of our character. I mean, you grew up right there. Yes. 1309 Fifth Avenue, this one right here just down the street, 110th Street and 5th Avenue, Yes, right? And this stone, <laughs> this stone is right here. It's that right is here. a mind-blowing concept. It's yeah. gotta be. Oh my goodness, it is, you know, and not only that, I think to have your name restored, to have your family's name restored. I'm here today to announce my candidacy for this New York City night district. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, man. I appreciate you, fam. And now we get to wish you well, Mr. Salam. Thank you. So what policies are you going to push or get behind to make happen if you win? We're definitely looking at housing and affordable housing at that. We're looking at safety. We're looking at mental health. We're looking at education. The Tyree Nichols murder that we all saw on television. What was your reaction to that? You know, here yet again is a young man crying out for his mother, crying out for help. You here, can relate to that. I am Tyree Nichols. Now he's yet another example of why we need to look at policing and say, how do we fix this system? So what do you do? You have to have components of training. I think part of the challenge is if police officers are protecting the communities that they live in, that's a whole different spectrum. Are you going to try to propose that? Try Absolutely. to make that happen? Got to Absolutely. live, say, in Harlem if you're a you Harlem have, cop? You have to live in Harlem if you're a Harlem cop. Why? Because you offer a certain level of protection, and because you are also one of the members of our community, you also res respect a certain level of protection. Oh, Jerry <laughs> Mack, what's going on, fam? <laughs> what's the lesson of your life story? I think that you have to hold on that every single one of us were born on purpose and born with a purpose. And the beauty of that is that we know this because we made it and we were chosen, we survived, and here we are. And in Harlem, I see people surviving. I want us to thrive. And Yusuf Salam's facing at least five other candidates in the race for City Council District 9. Among those vying for the seat, incumbent council member Kristen Richardson Jordan and assembly members Inez Dickens and Al Taylor. So he's been a motivational speaker and author for a lot of years. He thinks this is a logical next step in his career. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. He doesn't want to stop yeah. here either, by the way. Well, he, oh, no, a little hint of maybe did, what's did, to come. He, right. <laughs> but, you know, he used the word survive quite a bit um, in, your inter inter in the interview, and um, that's really what his life is about. Yeah. You know, just moving on and finding good in how to turn your life around. And he's talking about thriving yeah. beyond that too. So yeah. that's, that's his plan, we'll see. Okay, we'll keep tabs.